Greetings Google Academy UK, let's draw your attention to this here quickly look as well. Billing six pence for eight days to run a virtual machine with a compute engine and no pocket at the moment. But in this one I've jumped into another domain, so hopefully we don't get any problems verifying the pocket name because as we can see here we've got tiffy.space. So we're going to have to verify quickly media.tiffy.space because I think that's what we're going to be using. Let's have a look. So first we'll do a load balance and if we have to go off and do something else we'll do that in a minute. So sorry, there we go, load balancing. May have to enable it, create load balancer, start configuration from internet to my VMs, continue. Then we're going to call this media to the space <clears throat> if you watched it as you see now we create a bucket so now we're going to create a back end bucket you see we've got one already hyphened off but we want to do one from a domain name so we may be told at the moment that we can't do that let's see media Space. Name must be lowercase letters. Oh, yeah, this is where we have to then create it there. So, copy that. Crystal hyphen hyphen. I'm sure the one called that. So, we'll hyphen new. Right, so, this is where we're going to create a new bucket. This is where we're going to hopefully be able to get the name through. Let's try and see. It's allowed us through. Happy days. Let's say if you haven't got your domain verified and things, you'll never get it through there. It'll just tell you. Then we're going to enable Cloud CDN. Then what we're going to have to be doing when we create this HTTPS, and we're going to get an IP address. We're going to want to create an IP address, and we're going to want to call it. Let's see. Bucket search, bucket SSL. We'll do. Put a description if anybody else is going to be working on it. Mm, come on, then we're going to have this the certificate. The quite precarious bit because it can take up to 40 minutes to do its thing and then fail. So you can understand you then lost 40 minutes. So this is where again the domain name uh, must be lowercase oh no here it's gonna go when we put this that's where it is again so just hyphens and then i'm gonna stick with form ssl upload my certificate create google managed this is where we put the domain name is it at www dot before in the like tell you that I'm gonna do that then you have to hit enter to set that in then you click create and then what we're gonna do as soon as we get this IP address here look we need to make a copy of this however you choose to do your copies is up to you or me and things like this I just do a quick snip now throw that on the other screen and then now what we're gonna do we do a little bit of cheating GCP Google Cloud Computing Services and I should have just duplicated the tab but I didn't want to set it all off as I'm halfway through doing something. Go to console, make sure we're in the correct project because it may default us to Google Academy so always check you're in the correct project as well. Today buddy. Yep, six pence look so we know we're in here. Right, so now we're going to go into Cloud DNS. And we're going to add a new record and we're going to add an A record and what that's going to do watch is give us this so now we want to put here media so that's what we've used a record we need to just put this in here look so 35.201 and then .120.69 
Right, so now we can see we've got that media.tvspace. space. We don't have to worry about doing the forwarding C name with a www because this is just for that. So now we go back to here as we can see that bucket SSL and the certificate we've set up should all tally up lovely. So that's that GCP, leave that, leave that. You don't have to review and finalize. I will need a name obviously. Uh, sorry, what? Compliance. F E S S L. <coughs> that should do. I create that. Right, so what we're going to wait for now is <coughs> it's quite annoying this way when this goes on ticks in a moment, and this is the reason why we set this up because that IP address and that S S L is going to look for this. Now it tells us in stateless settings to do it do a c name but this i had it work this way so we'll try it this way first and then for some reason it hasn't worked this way we shall go and try with a c name which is pretty easy we just change it to storage.appies.com whatever is the name right so now when we're looking here <coughs> we're going to be waiting for the certificate to provision and this can take a while so as we can see now it's 21 24 i'm going to pause this until something happens we may not be back till 10 and then it may say failed domain not visible and that is annoying and this is why i don't really bother with these because i don't need anything that bad but if you do we'll get through it and we'll get it sorted back shortly whilst we're waiting look it's 22 minutes now you know and it's still not done but Here's what we're looking to be doing, why we put an SSL and this here. So if we go back to here and we go into stateless settings, which over all the media, I even set stateless up on this one. Wow. Right, so here we go. Set stateless up. We've got it set up in all the other installs, that's why. Which it doesn't really matter for this at the moment. Anyway, his bucket's totally independent. You don't need to use it in WordPress. You can just use these as buckets to deliver information around the globe. So we're in here. So that's cool. All right. So stateless install, and I have to go get a key. Let's see where that is. Appies and services credentials. And then we may have to make a new key. Let's have a look. Tiffy Media Offload, that's looking good. Active Axe two keys. Should possibly just delete these and create new keys to make sure we have got a current key. And as always, I shall be changing these when you change them. You just do it this way. Delete the old one, create a new one, wait for that to open. We haven't gone on the other screen, I've got it turned off at the moment. So we'll look. <coughs> yeah, there it is. So you see a key has come down. Again, it will be changed before the video it goes live on YouTube. And this here, activate that. And then what we're going to be looking for, again, in media, stateless settings now, is two things. We've got a bucket name there. Oh, it's already done it, but because it's an old key, we're obviously going to have to put the new key in. When we click save, if there's any problem, what it'll do is it'll tell us up here, as we can see, look, could not connect to Google storage bucket. So now we'll try again and see if it, there we go, it seems to have taken. So the next thing, what, why we'll be doing this <coughs> is because if you don't like this domain here, there's a couple of things we can do. First thing we can do, so we'll do it in the permalinks to show you that. If you notice the months and year, and you don't want that, obviously if you've got pictures on your site already, you'll have to change them or you'll lose that. But what we can do here, look, we can just go tiffy.space here, we don't want that, we just want sample post. So if we do it like that, click save changes, and then we go back to media, stateless settings, and what we should see hopefully is that uh, now that's 
save changes first just to make sure I'm not upsetting anything then we'll refresh it then we should see I've gone no it's still there look that's bizarre why I'm showing that maybe it takes time to kick in but what we're going to be wanting anyway is that now what we'll see when we save these changes it told you there look it requires a load balancer and it tells you we have to do a C name but for the moment we are doing what we're doing as we can see still let's check that sometimes you refresh them and it's like error could not connect or oh, you get the tick we're looking for the tick <sighs> 27 minutes you need to speed this bit up google this is an absolute drain on a developer's life waiting all this time and then if it fails you've got to do it again and again provisioning 40 odd minutes it's terrible so we'll see you now when we go into library we've got no images at the moment when we add one we're going to see it'll just come up there'll be a gray square it'll go into a bucket and everything else we've got a bucket open let's see for results and we should see just the gray square unless it embedded in that shines there you go so as you see at the minute the image because of this we've got no image we turn off the get rid of that Watch. control x save changes we'll go have a quick look in the bucket as well i did say that but i'll just do it again as a matter of course you will know what you've done right so again storage browser lock in the bucket tiffy media offload media tiffy dot space sorry and we should see as we go through but the image is fine in here watch the image is there yeah now if we let's see it's public to the internet let's just try some of that it's going to be that one in it yeah right. even though like i said the picture won't show in here it's great what we'll try and do is we'll put it in a post and see if it'll come through from the url straight from the bucket which it should do but we actually want them to show in media library and be able to show up like that this is like so the offloading without a plugin let's remove that block and then those will add an image and we'll insert from the url this image is an empty alt attribute so at the moment that one's not showing <clears throat> which i know that one definitely doesn't hmm. and that must be because like we said we're waiting for the domain or the certificate to provision wow come on google speed this up so let's see remove that block again and then image image from url yeah it can't do it yet so we've got to wait for that to actually work and if it's same now just update that and show you but there's actually nothing there new post new tab oh it has actually showed up so in the back end it doesn't show up so what we can well actually because a lot of things change in incognito to be fair so let's have a look here so as we can see incognito no image cognito if that's the right word cognito it must be an image and that drove me mad at first but again this is to do with permissions and security thing let's try and do it from a media library with the one we've got and see if it shows up on either versions as we can see it's got an empty attribute and open link in a new tab now so our pictures there again but now as that one was showing hang on no let's see where's the incognito that's looking like it 
and so we can see no image appears whatsoever. Let's get rid of that. Uh, update that, and then what we're going to do is it's failed. Look, failed, not visible. Brilliant. So it just took a little while to come through, but what I did have to do is when you got to the step of putting in the subdomain. Do not put the www dot, just put the raw domain. So now what we can do back in stateless settings is as we see we've got it there. Then here we can put it again. And it says that, but we say, okay, we've got it. So let's have a look now what we should be able to do. And then will I need to log out and log in? Probably not. Let's see, I've deleted that last image, so at the moment, well, I have now. When we put one up, we should hopefully see the actual image, and if not, I'm just going to log out and log back in what I'm made of that. Let's have a look. Are you going to surprise us? And there you go. And what we can see here, look, is we've changed it. Now, what I do want to change is that. So we're going to have a look why that did not take in the permalinks because it should but that there is how to set up a domain name for a bucket so you can change your as we see there media dot tiffy dot space and that took quite a while and as you see the provisioning when it had failed like so I went back into the setting it up reset it up I can show you tell you what now it's working I'll show you where I did so in here, and then, because uh, it's working, I can't edit it, I can only delete it. No. Anyway, I'll put a note on the bottom, and in the front, when you get to the subdomain, naming, just www. Right, so now we've got that, what we'll go have a look is we'll pop it on that post and make sure it actually shows up in incognito, which is the important thing. So as we've seen earlier, even though the bucket and all that won't work, the image was showing in the builder, which is a, can be quite a problem. You should always check things in your incognito, because then it's like someone else has seen it. So let's have a look. Let's add that. Uh, select, and then update that. We've got an incognito one still. Yep, it's looking good. Then let's refresh this. And as picture arrives, look, and we can see where we are. We can see the thing still arrives, and... What we also noticed is, let's see, in media we've not lost this padlock because we've set up as SSL and everything. So that is how you basically set up a HTTPS load balanced bucket. That was quite a mouthful. Any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them and I shall answer them as soon as possible. As always, stay safe and regards from Ramsgate, United Kingdom.